you show up first. A boy in this church, I told her the story recently, he, he didn't pass GCE. But because he could not pass GCE and his father could not send him to school, he started reporting in Computer Village every morning. Nobody asked him to come there. He would just be there. You know, some boys are like that. Just roaming around. Looking for who wants to buy food that he can buy for. That's how this boy started learning how to repair computer for free. That's how the boys become a voice in Computer Village. One day he saw on Vanguard, and you see one of the newspapers, that they were looking for a computer science first degree. They said they, they set up a business. They want to, the boy applied. Show up. Step there. Say, but they will say no. Let them say no first before you. He applied. All the qualification they said they must have to apply, he didn't have it. So they were surprised when they saw his document. They said, ah, this boy, is, this, is he okay? But they invited him to see the kind of human being he is. When it was his turn, they said, did you read? Where did you see the advert? He said on the newspaper, did you see the qualification? He said, yes. Why did you apply? When you don't, you are not qualified. He said, because I can do the job. Show up and talk like a lion. Don't just show up, talk like a lion. That word intimidated the panel. They said, are you sure? He said, yes. They whisper to themselves, oh, that great boy, he, oh, that great. Let's try him, you know. Let's try this boy. Even if it's one month or two months, we can tell him to leave, but at least yes. They said, okay. Are you sure? He said, yes, I can do the job. I, there's nothing about computer I don't know. Ah. <laughs> they saw the confidence. They spoke to themselves again and said, we should not miss this boy. Let's try him. So they tried him. They gave him the job with other graduates, computer science, Amadou Bello University, computer science, Unilag, computer science, uh, University of Cambridge, computer science, Harvard University. They packed them together. They started. The job is done by the boy all the time. All of them, now only certificate they get, they cannot do the job. When it's time to do the job, the boy will scatter the team, put it together. He was the one doing it. After one year, they made him the HOD and gave him an official car. No certificate, but he showed up. Let's assume he saw the advert and said, it's not for people like us, it's not for people like us. That's the end. You see me in computer village scratching everywhere. At 26, he has built his own house. Yeah. He's not certificate too. It's good to have certificate, but it's not, uh, that's not the terminal. He didn't say, he said everywhere you step. It's, you don't need certificate to step there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. You, don't need any, you don't need anybody's recommendation to shh, put your feet there. Step on it. Yeah. It's mine. I claim it. I receive it. Satan, take your hands off this one. You'll be surprised that Satan is as cheap as Goliath and as those giants. When one stone brought Goliath down, he said, eh? I shake What I'm impacting on you this morning is the power to show up. See, they will laugh at me. Let them laugh. They will soon laugh with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They will laugh at me. They will say, they laughed at the boy. I'm sure in that group they said, oh, yeah. they will start baptizing him in the office. Could, could he, could he certificate? Could he certificate? Oh, did you hear his English? It's not smooth. Let, you see, that talk will be for a short time. When he became the Alga, they keep quiet. Fam! Fam! Because they saw how far their certificate went. They saw how far the guy's boldness went. Everybody now, shh, make sure no. I prophesy. Whatever is yours, Satan will not scare you out of it. Every scary looking giant trying to scare you away from what belongs to you, I command them to give way. I command them to bow. Every giant occupying your blessings. Every giant occupying your breakthroughs. Every giant standing on your way. Every giant trying to keep you small. Every giant trying to make you little. I command them to become little before you. Every giant trying to say you will never become all that God has destined you to be. I command them to be humiliated in 2022. 
Just show up. And speak like a lion. Everybody say, I'll speak like a lion. I'm still going somewhere. There's somewhere we're going. God promised to give them the land, but with a condition. The one they are courageous enough to step on. <laughs> you see this, God? <laughs> he said, the old land is yours. But only the part you step on. So if they had stepped on 10% of the land, that's where they will live till today. Because the enemy we're talking about will not just go away. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your... I prepare a table before you in the presence of your... Those enemies are not friendly at all. So if you take one corner of the table because you're afraid of the enemy on the other side, that's where you're going to eat. But if you take charge of the table, all the enemy will do what? Vamos. Just show up and be bold enough. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you are daring it, they will laugh at you. I've warned you, but don't listen to their laughter. God promised to give you only the land that you dare. Are you hearing what I'm saying? One of my daughters here, when she started doing some things on YouTube, I told my wife, I said some people will be laughing at her now. I said, but why she's making all the mistakes, she'll be perfecting it. One of the things I've come to realize about Hater is that they know how to talk. But their talk is always for a short time. I said, don't worry. I said, this is your, my, our daughter. They'll be laughing at her now, but she'll be perfecting it. She'll be perfecting it. Then later, she, from YouTube, she moved to TV. Enemy will now say, ah, what are you doing? serious. TVC, for that matter. Ah! Enemies are meant to talk. When you show up to do the things that are bigger than your size, some people will talk. Let them talk. It's one of the reasons why they are there to talk, to push you. They are there to challenge you. Enemies are not really bad people like that. Though. They are God's instruments to bring the best out of us. So they say, can't you see that uh, she was not smiling enough? It's part of what they need to say. If I were you, I would hear it. I would correct it. I'll continue. One of the things I've come to realize is that your critics will criticize you until you are better than them. That's what I like about critics. They are very good. They will criticize you and criticize you until you keep perfecting it. You keep getting better until you are not their mate again. So they will now keep quiet and say, and we know when she started though. You know, they are bad they are the back. <laughs> we know when she started, though. Uh-uh. Yeah. 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 When I showed up in ministry, they laughed at me. They laughed at me. They said, you? What experience do you have? Who are you? How old are you? I said, the one who called me said I should step out, and I've stepped out. When those who laughed at me later, they started showing up one by one. When they come, they will just sit at the back. When we finish service, they will greet me and say, wow, the church is growing. I say, yes. <laughs> Later, when it got to a point, they, took, they called me, they say, ah, pastor, very soon we'll not be able to be seeing you again. No. I say, why? He said, because the way we are seeing, the way the people are, they will take your time. You won't be able to have time for us. I said, maybe, maybe, I said, maybe that time will come. I don't know. I said, but I will create time for you. They said, we are afraid. You won't have time for us. So after a long time, church has grown so big. We're not having enough time to talk again. One day they said, she be I will tell you. Then when the church grows bigger, you'll be so busy. Ah, we now see that you are busy. Anytime you are traveling, those who are traveling, can you be, can we go with you? <laughs> I said, if you have money for your ticket, <laughs> I can carry you along. Just raise money for ticket. Don't stop that business because they are talking. Don't stop that business assignment because they are talking let them talk let them what let them talk let them talk when you hear them talk don't be discouraged don't let anybody what so matter to you that you stop what god has instructed you to do because somebody is talking that'll be too much power to somebody too much power to a human being let them talk in fact encourage them to talk enjoy their talking you know why the talk is not going to last for too long there's a season when the talk will change to now be, it's our brother. We are friends. 
We used to sit together in church, side by side. It's my friend. It's our church member. We are together like this, two of us. We are six and five. <laughs> I prophesy. Every mocker in 2022 will celebrate you. Every mocker, those who have mocked your dream, I declare in 2022, they will celebrate with you. Keep walking. Everybody say, I'll keep walking. Say, why they keep talking? I'll keep walking. Stepping out of what you have done. You see, what God was telling Israelites is that go to that land, step there, your step will chase them away. It is their step that actually chased them away. They are showing up, chased them away. As soon as they showed up, their fear was in them. They all started surrendering. They had a little fight to fight, but it was so easy, easier than anybody would have thought. God promised to give them only the land. They have enough courage to put their foot on, despite the presence of the occupant, that despite the enemy show up, despite the enemy step on it, despite the occupant step there, because you are the real occupant. But the one you are scared to put your feet on can't be yours. Stepping out of what you have done into what you can do is 2022. 2022 is about stepping into what you are capable of doing that you have not done. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Thank God for what you have done in 2021. Thank God for what you have done in 2020. But 2022 is full of unlimited possibilities of what you can do, what you can become. Step there. Twelve disciples were in the boat. Jesus said, come. Only one stepped out. The remaining eleven kept quiet inside the boat. Didn't say. And the Bible recorded that Peter walked on water. We keep talking about that he sank. But he had walked first. It was later he sank. But he still walked first. In Mark 2 chapter 14. Is it not twelve people they said, come. But Peter stepped out. You are that Peter that is stepping out. In 2022, you are that Peter that will step out. Amen. Imagine, he just stepped out. And it was solid. Ah. And he was walking. But the Bible says when he lifted up his eyes and saw the wind, he began to sink. We criticize him that he sank. We don't celebrate him that he's the only human being, apart from Jesus, who has ever walked on water. Is that not an achievement? Do you know how it is to walk on water. Have you ever walked on water? Nobody here has ever walked on water, but we criticize Peter. He walked on water. He said, but he's short. At least he walked on water. He stepped out. This year, I want you to step into the world of unlimited possibility. Jump! Say, ah, pastor, if I jump, if I... All those reasons you are giving, they are not relevant. Take that step. Send that proposal. Write that letter. Knock that door. Say what you have to say. Don't say, we, we didn't listen to me. Say it first. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a world of unlimited possibility. He said to him that believe it. How many things are possible? All things are possible. Let me tell you how this will work to close this morning. So for the people of Israel to be able to enter into the promised land, in chapter 6 of Joshua... The Bible says God instructed him to circumcise all of them. He said he should circumcise all the male before they enter into Canaan. Please listen attentively. Circumcision in the Old Testament is the cutting away of the excess flesh. Abi? But under the New Testament, it's of the heart. Huh? There are things flesh can't handle. So don't try to do it with flesh. The realm we are talking about this morning, it has nothing to do with flesh. Flesh will fail. So don't do it in flesh. It's a dimension of the spirit. Is it what? It's, it's not flesh. Flesh is weak in this. Because flesh will taste it. It won't taste like it. Flesh will hear it. It won't sound like it. Flesh will feel it. It won't feel like it. Flesh with its five senses can't catch it. So don't try to use flesh to do it. It won't work. Say, ah, Peter, walk on water. Me too. Ah, 
take it easy. You will sink. Because it's not by flesh, it's by the spirit. Everybody say by the spirit. So in 2022, you are going to walk in the spirit. Galatians 5.16. It says walk in the spirit. You will not gratify the lust of the flesh. Galatians 5.16. You are going to walk in the spirit. To, be, to walk in the spirit means to be under the control of the Holy Spirit. To submit yourself to the Holy Spirit. The Holy spirit of the living God. Take control. Take control of the things I will say. Take control of where I will go. Guide my steps. He says, as men that are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. You're going to be totally in submission under the control of the Spirit of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You see, when it is done by the Spirit, it can't fail. It cannot what? It can't fail. But if it is done in the flesh, it's too risky. Because the flesh can't undo it. So God told him, before you get them into that land, cut away the excessive flesh. Anything flesh, cut it away. One of the things that circumcision was to do for the people of Israel was to bring intimacy between them and God. So circumcision of the heart brings you into intimacy with God. It's not a day job. It's not something you do one day. It's not something we pray for you here and you start. No, it's something you develop. Are you hearing me? It's something you cultivate. It's something you nurture. It's something you are deliberate about on daily basis. That this year, I want to be deliberate about walking in the spirit. Are you hearing me? And you are listening to the Spirit in prayer. And you are praying. And you are reading the Word of God. You are studying God's Word to hear the Spirit. And you are going by the guidance of the Spirit. Some of you, you'll be shocked. Oh. The way God will bless you this year, it will baffle your flesh. One brother in this church came to our church for the first time. On his way home, he lost his job. And he wanted to do a business to raise 500000 to do the business. On his way home, he said he had the Spirit of God told him, when you get home, call so-so-so uncle. That uncle is so stingy that everybody knows him in the family that he doesn't give anybody money. But it was the Spirit of God that told him. So he called the uncle and booked an appointment, and the next day, which is Thursday, he went to the uncle's office and told the uncle, sir, I lost my job. I want to do a business and I have and I need half, I need one, he didn't even call half a million. I need one million to do the business. And the uncle just smiled and brought out his checkbook and wrote a check of a million naira and gave it to him. And he said he couldn't believe that that check would not bounce because this is not the normal uncle that they know. He, he didn't ask for under, he asked for one million. He said he was even thinking I would have said two million because he wrote exactly one million. And he went to the bank the next day and cashed the money. And he said, what? So I'm now a millionaire. Ah! Just like that, Koleto Yeo. Because it's by the spirit. By the spirit. He didn't go by the flesh. He didn't go by calculation that Uncle A, very rich, he will give me one million. That's how he went. He went because the spirit of God told him, go there. So if you will do it by the spirit and not by the flesh in 2022, you will get amazing results, unbelievable elevations. You'll be surprised that stand up on your feet wherever you are. Lift up your two hands and say, spirit of the living God, guide my steps in 2022. I don't want to walk in the flesh. I want to walk in the spirit. I want to walk under the control of, your, of the spirit. I want to walk under the influence of the spirit. I don't want my flesh to interrupt. No flesh interruption in this matter. Spirit of the living God, guide my steps. Guide me into unbelievable elevations. Guide me. Guide me. Guide me into my own miracle. Guide me into my own testimony. I celebrate other people's testimony, but guide me into my own testimony. The way their own testimony came may not be the way my own will come. So guide me on how it will come. Guide me on how to go about it. Talk to God from the depth of your heart. Spirit of the living God, speak to me clearly. Order my steps. I don't want to just talk to anybody. I want to talk to the person you are sending me to. Talk to God from the depth of your heart. Talk to God from the depth of your heart. I cut the flesh out of this matter. I circumcised the flesh. My heart. The flesh will not interrupt in this process. I submit to the spirit of God. I submit to the will of the spirit of God. Talk to God from the depth of your heart.
talk to him. We have a few more minutes. I don't want to be guided by common counsel. I want the counsel to be the counsel from the Spirit of God. Spirit of the living God, guide my steps in 2022. Teach me your ways, O oh God. I don't want to struggle this year. I don't want to lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge you in 2022. Guide me. Guide me. In Jesus' precious name we pray. I've told you this story before. It happened in, the, in a friend's church. One of my friends in Lagos, a pastor. A young boy in church who is an applicant looking for a job. A graduate is believing God for a job. But very committed and very prayerful. He finished praying one day. And God told him to go and price a car. And he told God after prayer that, is that the next thing when I'm looking for a job? He said, just obey me. Go price a car. So he left his house. I had a statement from my pastor friend. He left his house and went to price car. And if that's what he said you should do, do it. He said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. John 2, 5. He was pricing this beautiful car. One big man came in. That man wanted to buy birthday gifts for his wife. And it's a particular color of his wife. And he's been going around the whole of Lagos looking for that brand, that year, that color. Didn't get it. But he got it there. And this boy was the one pricing. So this man was trying to interrupt. The boy said, look, I'm here. You met me here. So the man said, I'm sorry. But God told him to. So the man left him and after a while, he didn't leave the people. He was still talking about the car. Then the man called him behind. I said, come. Do you want to buy this car? He said, yes. He said, yes, I want to buy this car. The guy said, please don't buy it. He said, why? He said, because I need this car. He said, no, you can't tell me not to buy it. It's what I, I need it too. The guy said, I begging him. Don't buy this, please. Do you know what this guy said? He said, okay, you know what? Pick any other car, I'll pay for it, but don't buy this car. It happened, Reverend Rebidikwes, it happened in this, to a young man. So this man paid for two cars. One for the jobless boy. Because he said, go and price a car. Why, you see, why I don't disbelieve things like that is that even in our church, I've seen somebody with a V8 engine with 1,000 naira. 1,000 naira. He came to church on Sunday. A brother walked up to him and said, come when you're coming next Sunday, come with a 1,000 naira. He said, I have a car, V8 Jaguar. My spirit, the Spirit of God said, I should give it to you. Abi, am I lying? Yeah. So if that one, let's assume that one is a lie because we're not there. But this one, so he came, he got, he got told me, told his wife, because they didn't have a car, they are living far away, the wife cannot come to church. He said, do you know brother, so so say I should come with a thousand naira, they are giving me their Jaguar V8. The wife said, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, why do you, it can't be one thousand naira, it can be one thousand dollar, one thousand pounds, or one thousand euro. He said, yeah, pick your call, call him. He picked his phone. Sir, when you were talking with the other time, I didn't hear you clearly. What did you say, one thousand what? He said, I mean one thousand naira. Ah. He said, okay. So he came to church that day, held the thousand naira in one pocket so I wouldn't drop it in the offering box <laughs> by mistake, you know. Then the man sat beside him and said, where is the one thousand naira? We're, we're in Blue Ribbon then. And he gave him one thousand, and he gave him the key of a Jaguar V8 parked outside the church on Sunday service. He said, I've been watching you helping people park their car. I like the way you serve God. And I've decided to give it to you. That one happened that I know. And that's why I don't doubt testimonies. I'd like you to lift up your two hands and say, Father, I know you have given me all things. But the condition is I must tread upon it. I receive courage to tremble upon it, to step upon it, to take what belongs to me. I receive the boldness. I receive the strength. I receive the faith to occupy my place and possess my possessions. Turn into prayer very quickly. That courage. I overcome the fear that is keeping me behind. I overcome the fear that won't allow me to take the step. I overcome the fear that won't allow me to take the step. I overcome the fear that will not allow me to take that step. I receive victory over that fear. 
That's the fear that keeps us small. That, that, that's the fear that keeps everybody small in our family. I overcome that fear that keeps everybody behind the line in my family. That fear that kept all the elder brother of David not to dear Goliath. It was their younger brother at the age of 17 who brought down the one that nobody could stand. I overcome that fear that kept people behind. I overcome that generational ancestral fear. Fear of unknown. I overcome it today. I receive victory. I receive victory. I receive courage to step on what belongs to me. Courage to knock that door. Courage to call, make that call. Courage to send that proposal. Courage to, 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 to do what God instructs me to do. I receive that courage. I receive that courage. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Stretch your two hands forward. All eyes are closed. All heads are bowed. I decree and declare that the lion inside you is woken up in Jesus' name. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, be as bold as lion, but as wise as serpent. I command in the name of Jesus, receive the heart of a lion. Receive the heart of a lion. Every timidity, every fear you inherited from your ancestors, I command them to be gone forever. Every fear of unknown, every fear of will it work, I command them out of your system. Receive that bold heart to dare the impossible, to go for the things that belong to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare this morning, 2022 will be one of your best years. The things you've been waiting for for years, it will come in 2022. The door you've been waiting to be open, I declare it will be open in 2022. The invitations you've been expecting for so long and has not been reaching you, in 2022 it will reach you. I decree and declare whatever you are, whether you are on the ground floor, in the gallery, or outside in any of the overflow, or watching online, the fear that kept you small, I command them out of your system. Fear is a spirit. I cast out the spirit of fear from your heart. And I decree from today you will dare the impossible. You will do the unbelievable. You will achieve the unbelievable. As you step on it, the giants will run. You will not be afraid of giants. You will not be afraid of giants. You will not be afraid of giants. You will no longer be afraid of giants. Every giant that has scared you in the past, I declare, the Bible says, I've put your fear in them. Because God has put your fear in them, they will be afraid of you. I said, the giants you were afraid of before will be afraid of you. As you step out of this meeting, you make the call, you knock the door, you will have testimonies. The giants will run away from you. Whatever belongs to you that in their custody, they will release it to you. If that thing that looks like it will be tough, it will be easy for you. If it, it, it was tough for others, it will be easy for you. I decree and I declare, unbelievable elevation is your portion. Whatever sin, because sin nurses fear. Every form of addiction and sin that nurses fear in your life, receive victory over them. He said the wicked wrong when no man pursue him. Every wickedness in your system, I said, receive victory over them. He said, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, O God, and know my thought. And see if there be any wicked way in me. If there be any wicked way in you, be delivered from those wicked ways. You will leave this place as a lion. You'll be as bold as a lion. Your enemy will run away from you. Your adversary will not be able to stand you. He said to Joshua, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. I decree this morning, no devil, no man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Even when you come in contact with wicked people, they will not be able to stand you. Even when you come in contact with destructive people, they will not be able to stand you. God will put your fear in them. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Oh, it is done. Greatness will become normal in your life. Greatness will become natural with you. Miracles will become a daily affair. 
And everyone who has mocked you in time past, this year they will celebrate with you. Yeah. Wave your hands and give him all the glory and all the praise. Appreciate him. Thank him. If God has blessed you this morning, I will never be the same again. I am so blessed this morning. Thank him from the depth of your heart. In Jesus' precious name we pray. I'm a lion. From the, tribe, from, the, from, the, from the lineage of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I am a lion. From the lineage of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? So witches and wizards after this service will be the least before you. In the name of Jesus.